Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome in, welcome in, everybody. Welcome in, Studio Elan fans. Thank you so much for all of the new follows. Hello, welcome all. Oh my goodness, VN Studio Elan just followed me. Oh my goodness, Senpai noticed me. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome to 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 fault to to twin Wednesday. <laughs> It's not quite Tuesday anymore. It's Women Wednesday instead. And I am very, very excited for today. How's it going? How's everyone doing? I loved spending time with Aspen for half an hour. I say that genuinely. I love it. Yeah, this is so strange for me. Truthfold, not on a Tuesday. But it, it kind of worked out in a way because I wasn't... I wasn't feeling super well yesterday, so I had to call my stream early, but then I was like, you know what? It's fine, because we got the relay, and I can just keep playing today, so I can still play for about the same amount of time. But welcome in, everybody! Welcome to the Studio Elan Bellflowers relay. I, we have exciting things in store. We have giveaways, we have twofold, we have uh, the women. Uh, if, if you type women in chat, it'll drop little lesbian pride flags on my head. <laughs> Just fun little things like that. Like that, look at them. Oh, that one, kind of, they're kind of getting stuck as well. Good times. But yes, welcome. I thank you for the hydrate as well. I've got, oh, there we go. The, <laughs> I'm being attacked and I'm happy about it. But thank you for the hydrate to begin with. I've got myself a flask. I don't have tea today. I usually make myself a flask of tea. Today, I decided to have hot black currant with honey. I, I put a, a teaspoon of honey in to soothe my throat a bit. And it's really nice. It is very nice. But yes, for anyone who's new here as well, who's come on over from, from Mari's stream, hello, lovely to meet you all. I hope everyone's having a, a lovely Wednesday. Uh, to anyone who's new here, hello. I'm Liri, I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK, and I love puzzle games and comfy games and women, women. <laughs> Very partial to a Women Wednesday. Thought it was gonna be booze. It is 5 p.m. But I, I, I guess 5 p.m. isn't that bad. But no, it is not booze. It is. <laughs> It is the opposite of booze. It is a it is a soothing black currant drink with honey mixed in. <laughs> it's very nice though. Ah, but yes, I hope everyone had fun with the 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 please be happy over on Mari's stream. I was there. I'm gonna be here for the other streams as well. I'm gonna be chilling while I eat my dinner. But uh, I was actually thinking, going straight from Mari's stream into mine, I'm going to be doing a couple of giveaways too, but I was wondering about maybe starting with a giveaway. To start with a giveaway and then also do a giveaway at the end as well. Because I also have a key for Please Be Happy to give out. So considering that Please Be Happy just happened, I thought it'd be nice. Everyone who's followed over from the raid will do a, a cheeky little giveaway to begin with. Also, I'm so glad everyone else is getting got by the door knock too. It also gets me. There was a beautiful moment playing First Snow where the door knocked in the game and then someone also redeemed the door knock at the exact same time in chat. And I, I will never forget that moment. It's also kind of hilarious because I think I've I've desensitized myself to the door knock sound. Like I if somebody was actually knocking on my door, I'd probably ignore them. <laughs> It'll be like there's something going wrong in the house and I need to help out and they knock on my door and I just completely ignore it. So I'm like, oh that must be from the stream, right? <laughs> it's probably not great. <laughs> but uh it's 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 funny when when it's redeemed at like the times I don't expect it because they're the most likely to actually get me. But yes, if you look at my shelf too, you'll notice I've got a, a little Mimo plushie down there. I love her. I love my Miho plushie with all of my heart. She lives on the end of my bed and she's very sweet. And I like to sometimes take her jacket off and put it on my other plushies. <laughs> Just start playing dress up game with all my plushies. 
But, oh, you'll never fall for it because people in your house don't knock. <laughs> oh, that, that's a bit of a shame. I, I always knock before trying to enter a room. Even if I know there's nobody in there, I'll still knock on the door just in case. Like, just in case I'm interrupting a ghost or something, I guess. I'll just be like, is there anyone in here? No. Um, I'm coming in. I know there's nobody here. I'm coming in anyway. Jim. Thank you for the gym. But, uh, yes! I, I saw that you won the Please Be Happy giveaway on Mari's stream. Totally don't already own it. That just means you get to introduce someone else to it. You get to send it to a friend and be like, hey, you have no excuse now. You gotta play it. You have to. Good times. Oh, wait, I missed the Hiker Redeem too. Thank you, Akire. I, I missed that. I'm I'm a little bit all over the place at the moment. <laughs> Hoping that everything's working properly. Hoping that everything will go well. But uh, thank you for the Hiker Redeem. Can I do a haiku about bellflowers? Ooh. It's bellflower time. Relay, one stream to the next. So many women. <laughs> that is the the goal of the relay. We, we, it's Women Wednesday. We've got lots of games with women and it's, it's going to be a good time. But yeah, it's uh, even if you already have the game, like so long as you're not planning on uh, like hoarding the key and not using it, you're, free, you're still welcome to enter the giveaway and then give it to a friend like pass on the giveaway if you think it's something that they would play it's a really good way to to get people into the games it's it's great <laughs> it's a good time but uh you know what i think i am actually i'm going to start the stream today with a giveaway mostly because uh what i'm going to be playing today is going to be slightly spoilery if you haven't played uh, twofold before I say slightly spoilery it's full spoilers I'm like I'm in like the last act of Millie's Root <laughs> it's like the end of the game so there will be spoilers there so I don't want people to feel like they're going to miss out on the giveaways because of wanting to avoid spoilers so what I'm gonna do is I know why did I why did I say slightly it's not slightly it is literally the definition of spoilers so what I figured I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the please be happy giveaway we're going to do a little Please Be Happy giveaway for a, a, a game key for Please Be Happy. Because we just came from there. We just came from Please Be Happy in Mari's stream. And then at the end of the stream, I'm going to end the stream, hopefully with plenty of time to spare. And then I'm going to do a giveaway for Twofold as well. So things to look forward to. But in the meantime now, I'm going to be playing uh, Act 3 of Millie's Route. I've already gone quite far. A lot of stuff has happened. I might finish it today. I may get distracted and go on tangents as I am so often likely to do. But I'm hoping I can finish it. I think I might be able to if I actually read. <laughs> so uh, let's start with a giveaway. I really hope this works. I've I've been I haven't had a chance to like actively test this. So this is this is the test right now. We're going to see if the robot will do a giveaway for me. Dun dun dun. Oh, it's working! There's the giveaway! The giveaway started! Uh, the, the, the code to enter is exclamation point Yuri. So if you, if you type exclamation point Yuri in the chat, you'll enter the giveaway for Please Be Happy. Hee hee hee. So yes, get your entries in. Uh, it, it's going to be running for five minutes. And then after five minutes, the winner will be chosen and I will send you your key. But uh, thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Incredible. I'm glad you think so. I was just going to make it women, but then but then I was like, well, what if people type woman instead of women? Because it's only a letter difference. I figured Yuri was easy enough to not misspell. <laughs> it's the whole reason. Maybe, maybe the twofold entry code will just be Millie. Who knows? <laughs> But yes, get the giveaway running. I thought it would be nice to start with a giveaway and end with a giveaway. And I can also do a little fun fact as well. Like you've, you've already probably heard Mari say so much about Please Be Happy. And I, Please Be Happy was the first Studio Airline game I played on stream, I think. I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was. 
but Please Be Happy has been one of my all-time favorite stream experiences. Like, streaming that game, it took me so long because I kept going off on t conversation tangents. Like, the whole game, it made me want to talk. It made me want to, like, talk with people. It made, it, like, really started conversations. And I really, really loved that so much. Like, it's, it was just such a wonderful experience to go through. Wonderful game. It really made me happy. It made me so happy. And also, as a fun fact as well, uh, Adi Rosa from the, the Please Be Happy team is actually the artist for my VTuber model. <laughs> This is this is Adi Rosa art right here. It's uh, it's also how I got involved with Verpro and, by extension, the Studio Elan team in the first place, is because I've been I've been friends with Adi for a really really long time now. We bonded over our love of Vital Master, <laughs> and that's how I kind of got introduced to the Elan team. Although it's. I kind of say that, I'd already like, I, I bought Highway Blossoms when that came out. And then I bought Heart of the Woods when that came out. And so I was already like on board anyway. <laughs> but it's really, really nice. It's, it's so lovely. I feel like it's, one of the things I love about these kind of games is that it's not just love in a romantic sense. Like there are so many games where it's just pure romance. It's only that kind of love. But so many airline games have so much more than that. It's not just about romance, although like that is obviously quite a big part of them. But it's also about like family love and loving your friends and finding people who you care about and want to spend time with and feel like you enjoy spending time with them. It's that's a really powerful kind of love, I think. And that's that's what I love the most. It's those are the kind of situations where I'm just like, oh, my heart, my heart is so full. And they do them so well. Like, Please Be Happy does it so beautifully well. Twofold is doing it so beautifully well. Obviously, I haven't finished Twofold yet, so I I can't say too much. But already the impression I've been getting, it's, it's just, it's been so incredible. It has been such a lovely time. Right, there is uh, one minute left on the giveaway. So if you haven't entered the giveaway yet and you want to win the chance to get a Please Be Happy key, then uh, the ex exclamation point Yuri is the code. Uh, 40 seconds left from my little countdown. And I'm going to very quickly take an antihistamine. Don't mind me. I just realized I've, I've, I've not had an antihistamine and I've been suffering from allergies. Give me a second. I apologize. Don't mind me. <laughs> Gentle medication is the giveaway. <laughs> I'm a professional streamer. Hi, I'm, I'm really prepared. Prepared and ready for everything. There we go. The giveaway has ended and Rose of the Abyss, you're the winner. You won the key. Fabulous. Uh, let me whisper that over to you quickly but uh, congratulations congratulations you won a copy of please be happy bum, bum, bum. gotta send that over i can remember how to do this i don't remember how to do anything it's fine i found you All right, I've sent that over now. Congratulations, you, you've won a, a key for, for Please Be Happy. It's such a beautiful game. It's such a wonderful game. I love it so much. Please, key, uh, keys be happy. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, that's so great. Keys be happy. I love that. <laughs> but congratulations, Rose of the Abyss. I've sent the, the code over now. Hopefully everything works out all right. Let me know if there are any problems, but I don't think there should be. We should have, yeah, we, we should have done that. We should have done Keys Be Happy. That's so good. 
but congratulations on winning the first giveaway. You won the first key, so I'm gonna do another giveaway at the end of the stream, and that will be for Twofold. For a copy of Twofold, if you want to have a copy of that. And thank you for the hydrate too, I just realized. I usually have a can of monster every stream. I've not opened a can of monster today. Who am I? I don't know who I am. What has happened to Leary? I'm <laughs> Hold on a sec. Hey, grab a grab a can. <laughs> two keys sounds funny. Sadly, I do not have two keys for twofold. I only have the one. But that's fine. Because we will also be playing twofold. But there we go. Start as we mean to go on. With a cracking open a can of monster. But yes, without any further ado, let's bum 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 bum. Let's switch over to the game. Here we go. Haha. <laughs> but yes, uh, I will say again, for anyone who's joining now who has not been warned, there will be spoilers for Twofold in this stream. I am at the end of Millie's route at the moment. I've been I've been playing it weekly every Tuesday for the past however many Tuesdays. And I'm going to keep playing it for all of the Tuesdays in the future until I'm finished with it. <laughs> So uh, if you if you want to check out my early gameplay videos of Twofold as well, they're all available on my YouTube channel. I keep all of my... <laughs> I love having all the pride hearts fall on my head. Uh, I think I have a YouTube command. Do I have a YouTube command? I do! But yeah, so if you want to see my, my earlier gameplay videos of Twofold, and also First Snow, the prequel to Twofold, which is available for free on Steam, for the, the grand price of nothing, you can play the prequel. I recommend it, it's a very good game. But uh, yeah, if, if you want to watch the playthroughs with me playing them, taking forever, taking ages and ages, they're, <laughs> they're all up there. And it's it's been such an incredible journey. I've been having so much fun. Also, yes, whatever lock and key comes out, the giveaways are gonna be, be so funny. Yeah, just be like, would you like a lock and key key? A key for lock and key? I like I like saying a uh, lock and key key. <laughs> the key of a key for lock and key. <laughs> but yes, I'm I'm really excited to play more of this because I I really wanted to I really wanted to play more of this yesterday, but I wasn't feeling super well. I was having problems with my throat, and I figured to make sure I'd be okay for today, it would probably be smart for me to rest. And I'm very glad that I did rest, because I'm, I'm feeling much better today. Like, my throat still isn't 100%, but I've got my hot black current with my honey. I can keep looking after myself, and I can speak, which is always a good start. <laughs> But yes, I'm currently... I've just started uh, Millie's Act 3, which is the last act in the game. And we've made a lot of progress. Um, Olive and Millie are living together now. They had a very lovely date, which I experienced yesterday and got very emotional over. And there are still some unresolved issues that need to be dealt with. So I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping we can do something about that because everyone is, I'm, I'm, everyone needs a hug. Everyone needs a hug. And I really, I, I really just want, I just want the best for everybody. It's the kind of situation where I'm, I'm the opposite of Mari. I don't have like a specific character that I lose my mind over. <laughs> I just want to protect everyone, but in more of like a, I want to be like a, a guardian to protect them. I want to give everyone a hug and a pat on the head and tell them it's going to be okay. Ah, uh, Oh, this is my first route as well. I've not done the Caprice route yet. I, I haven't, I haven't finished a route yet. This is my first one. Uh, I did a, I did a poll on stream to decide which, uh, which uh, thingy which path I would do first. 
Uh, is there a no backseating command? Not for this, because it's not really a, a game that you can backseat. But I will say, uh, please try to avoid spoilers for the game, because I've I've not played it all yet. <laughs> but uh, that's that's just one of the chat rules. That's just a chat rule. Like, please don't spoil the game, because that would be mean. But yeah, I put up a poll to decide which route I would do first. And then Caps said in chat, what if you could make it tie? And everyone made it tie. <laughs> it was a tie. I had to roll a die <laughs> to decide which one to do first. And it ended up being Millie's. So I'm, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm a little scared to know how things are going to go, but also very excited. But yes. Let me continue where we left off. Where we left off here was dinner at home. <laughs> really letting fate decide. I, it was like, usually I, I know what I want to do first, but in this situation, it felt like a scenario where I, I'd be happy doing either first. Like, everyone I've heard play this game has said that it doesn't feel like the, it's a game where there's like a right and a wrong path or like, this path is better than this path is the kind of thing that you need to experience both sides of and i love that that's that's what i'm here for i want the full experience i want a full story and so it is we're just here on on millie's path at the moment and i'm i'm a little scared of things blowing up but i i'm i believe i believe in them i believe in millie and caprice to get through this they can resolve this they can resolve this. He... Oh, and Bob, thank you for stopping by too. I hope you have a good evening. But thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the hydrate too. I hope you've had a good dinner. <laughs> thank you for the hydrate too, wanna be weeb. Right, let me have another sip before we start. I'm just enjoying my warm black current with honey at the moment look after my throat <laughs> you're dying at my power-ups oh i i you can't disable them so i i just made them cost a hundred dollars and said please don't <laughs> i'm glad you like them it's like if if you really want to pay a hundred dollars just to do something that would annoy me then yeah that's it's like you you pay the toll at that point that is that is the the fee you must pay <laughs> But anyway, let's continue. This is right after the dinner date. Um, Olive cooked dinner. They cooked dinner for Millie. They did a, a lovely, lovely pasta dish with shrimp. And Millie brought back cake and also dressed up in a pretty dress and did a... <laughs> and I... It's, yeah, I, it's now right after that date. We're continuing from the date moment. And, oh, it was, it, it made me smile a lot. I was just like, bless them, bless them both. I love it. Ah, <sighs> I'm so full. That was amazing. Thank you for cooking. Oh, I'm, I'm so happy. The Millie dress, I love the Millie dress. I love it so much. <laughs> Someone should PayPal me 10,000 euros just to annoy me. Oh yeah, that that would be so awful if anyone wanted to troll and send me loads of money. I'd be so annoyed and trolled by it. If there's any trolls out there. It was my pleasure. I definitely overate too. Ah, it's so funny going from please be happy to this now. And going from Miho to Olive, like the duality. Incredible. We share a small groan and laugh. The outside air is refreshing, cold but not insufferable. After eating our weight in pasta, Millie suggested we walk it off. The night is filled with lights from leftover holiday decorations and street lamps, and yet it's like we're the only two people in the world. Ah, yeah, Dotovu is incredible. <laughs> ah. So, how's everything? What a question. Is that an attempt at small talk? <laughs> Only if you want it to be. 
<laughs> she giggles, walking in a bit closer to me. I extend a hand to her, which she takes, swinging it between us with each step. Well, I don't know if I have a single word for it. It's like at Christmas when I saw Aww. the painting. Everything that was held together like a house of cards just sort of collapsed. Yeah, the straw that broke the camel's back. Everything that's uh. happened after, you finding me, us moving in together, and now our date, it feels like... Like it's building back up. Well, we need to stop that. We need to we need to resolve this conflict, otherwise it's just gonna keep building back up. It's like you you know the expression of like bottling something up? I feel like what happened was Millie was bottling everything up, her bottle overflowed and she emptied it in a furious, drunken 2 a.m. walk to the bridge. She put the bottle back down, the bottle's now filling up again, and it's not being emptied. So we need to... we need to periodically empty out this bottle. We need to stop it filling up too much again. This is like the weirdest analogy that I'm making. It doesn't quite work. <laughs> I feel like it made sense in my head, and then the more I started saying it, I was like, actually, that's... Mm, maybe not. I'm just gonna carry on. <laughs> uh... She pauses, long enough for me to be unsure that she's going to continue. In the distance, the plaza lights are coming into view, filling the horizon with a warm glow. Can I ask what you mean exactly? Oh, what's being built back up, I mean. The tension. It's the tension. It's... It feels like play, playing nice is fine. It's, it's completely fine. Thank you for the hydrate, too. It's completely fine to, like, bottle up some emotions, but you still have to deal with them. You can put things off, but it doesn't make them vanish. You still have to deal with them later. Putting them off doesn't mean you can just forget about it entirely, and I think that's what Millie's been trying to do. She's been trying to put it off indefinitely, and that is impossible. It has to be dealt with. <laughs> that's Sanya Mita. Thank you for the hydrate and pause to check. We have a big stretch. And another sip of tea. Yeah, we need to break the bottle so there's nothing to fill it with. No, that makes sense. Or like drill holes in the bottom of the, the bottle so that the water leaks out, but at a dealable rate. Like you can deal with the water coming out because it's slower and just a little bit at a time. That kind of makes sense. Because this is a bottle we do not want filled. This is the stress bottle. We don't want it to be full. Just let it out a little bit at a time. <laughs> Oh, it's your bedtime, so listen and look while you get ready for EPs. Oh, I hope I can be good accompaniment while you get ready to wind down and go to bed. Just have things on in the background. We'll have comfy talking and resolving conflict. The periodic emotion drain. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's really it, though. Like, it's, it's easier to deal with a small problem than to deal with a large problem that was caused by six undealt with small ones. It makes it so much easier, like, more manageable chunks, I guess. A bedtime story, yeah. I'm, I'm here to read a, a nice bedtime story for everyone. Once upon a time, there was an olive and a milly. No thoughts had empty, sorry. Stability, I guess. Oh, that makes sense. She looks up towards the sky. I follow her gaze, trying to see whatever she sees. Yeah, I think the problem here is that, like, she was used to things being the way they were, and now everything is changing. So she's just desperately trying to cling to anything that isn't changing. But she kind of needs to embrace the change a bit. <sighs> the stars aren't really visible. They never are, not here. Only a few bright ones manage to peek through the pollution of light and clouds, and the rest are airplanes or radio towers flying by. Ever since my mom passed, I've always felt unbalanced. Like I was this close to falling one way or another. She was my rock. Every morning we had breakfast together, every night we read together, and then one day she was gone. Uh. 
Uh, time for gay. I love having this emotional moment and then the gay hearts fall on my head. Hi, Nux. I didn't know what to do or who I was, except that I wanted to be a writer someday. So I focused on my education. I poured all of my heart into my schoolwork, even though, honestly, I'm just not very good at it. It's only through hours and hours of hard work and tears that I am where I am now. That means you are good at it. If you work hard for something to be good at something, I would I would argue even that that makes you better. That makes you better at it. Like, nobody's very good at things to begin with, but if you put in that time and effort, like, that that's what makes you good at it. I, this breaks my heart. This breaks my heart so much because I can tell she's comparing herself to Caprice here. Caprice who's just like effortless valedictorian. And she's like, well, because I have to work harder for this thing, that means I'm not as good. And it's not true. I will I will fight so, so vehemently over this. I'm, I'm like, I feel very passionately about this. <laughs> she, you are good at it. You're good at it. It may be hard. You work hard for it. That should make it even better that you are. You are. Really? Mm. It's why I was drawn to you. Oh? My pathetic performance in school was a positive. Mm. No, <laughs> not exactly. I just... I know what it's like to feel like everything is crashing down and... And so much of this doesn't come naturally. It's it's a lot. Oh, and so she wanted to help because of that. It's all oh, my heart. Yeah, I have no talent other than an incredible work ethic. It's like I'm I'm no good at anything because I have to study for ten thousand hours to learn it. Like you've learnt it at that point. You learnt it. You learnt it. That means you're good at it. Please, Billy. I just, I just want to hug her and tell her she's good. <laughs> also, Miyokocho, thank you for the reset for 41 months. Oh my goodness. Hi. Welcome. I am arguing passionately over the fact that um, just because you have to work hard to achieve something doesn't make you any less important than someone who it comes naturally to. Like, I would argue working hard for a skill makes it a more valuable skill. Like, personally. And, like, I'm saying this as the person who was in school and everything came naturally to me. Like, when I was in primary school, I did not study. Because I just, like, I was, I was put on, like, the quote-unquote gifted and talented register. Because I just kind of got things immediately as they were taught to me. But that meant I did garbage in school when I was like a teenager because that was when I started having to actually study and I'd never been taught how to study I did not know how to study so I did terribly <laughs> so I did really badly because I I didn't know how to study which is why in this situation I'm like Millie you know how to study you work so hard that is such a skill that is such an important thing and I ah uh, the, 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 the I want to hug her. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel like there's a lot of same hat going on right here. Same hat. Same hat. I reach out to everybody. It's okay. We made it. Everything is tough. We've still made it. We're here right now. We made it. We did it. Huh. Oh, it's, it's 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 part of the reason why I love this so much. Everything is so relatable. It really is. It's it's the thing that I feel is so hard to do well in media, and all of the Studio Airland games, all of the Bell House games, manage to knock it out of the park every time. It is always. I don't think I've played a single game where I've not related to any of the characters. Not a single one of the ones I've played where I've just been like, I don't I don't connect with any of these. There's always something. It's incredible. Oh, and Sarok, I hope you get good rest. Thank you for stopping in. But it's it's the the 
it really like it hits me harder because I can relate. I'm just like it's an, it's so they're so incredibly well written, well crafted. And it's part of the reason why when when Josh asked me if I wanted to be a bellflower, my my immediate res response was I think I just said all in caps yes and nothing else like the second he sent the message. Like <laughs> I didn't even need to hear the details. I didn't need to hear anything else. I just, hold on. I wonder if I can find the, the message. Very quickly. Oh wait, no, the, the message I sent was, uh, oh yes, I would love to be part of this for sure. 1000% and loads of exclamation marks. That was, that was my message. And it was sent two minutes after he sent the original message. So, like, as soon as I saw it, I instantly replied. Yeah, and then afterwards, it was just like a woo, thank you. <laughs> Good times. It's so funny because, like, I didn't even, like, fully read the entire message with all the benefits. I was just instantly like, well, yes, I want to be part of this. And then I was reading through afterwards, and I was like, wow, this is... This is really generous. Wait, I get I get a, a code. I get a I get to give people a code for a web discount. <laughs> I was just gonna keep playing the games as usual. But oh, I I love it so much. I'm I'm so glad to be here. I'm so glad to be part of part of the Bellflowers, part of Verpro, connected with so many incredible things. I I love it. <laughs> oh, they're here. No pressure. Yeah, I know they're here. I got the follow. I got noticed by Senpai earlier. <laughs> also, thank you so much for everybody else who's followed too. There have been so many follows right at the start of the stream. I, I didn't go through each one individually because there was there was like 10 all in one go. But it's very, very appreciated. Thank you for following. And I hope you return as well because I'm, I still need to play all of Caprice's route for twofold. I still need to do, is it Perfect Circle? the name of the the other additional part i still need to play that um i still need to play quite a few of the elan games i still need to play national park girls i still need to play i want to replay heart of the woods and highway blossoms on stream because i played those before i was a streamer and i want to play those on stream as well um, there's, I still need to play without a voice on stream, but I'm saving that until October. That's going to be part of my uh, horror-adjacent streaming activities. And I'm very excited for without a voice as well, because that's also art by Addy. Anyway, I have a soft spot for Addy. Hold on, let me... <laughs> let me do the command. I love Addy. She's great. Hee <laughs> hee. But yeah, Highway Blossoms is so good. It, I think Highway Blossoms was the first game I played. I played it, when did I play it? Do I want to look this up? I may regret checking this. When did I get my first achievement in Highway Blossoms? It was 2017. And I actually played it before then. I played it before it was on Steam, I think. And then I played it again when it was added to Steam. And proceeded to complete it. And I really wanna, I wanna revisit it. I think it would be really fun because it's been such a long time now. I've forgotten a lot of the details. But uh, a lot of the achievements were so funny with that. But yeah, I my, my goal eventually is to play every single Studio Elan and Bellhouse game on stream. Even the ones I've already played, I will replay them. <laughs> but at the moment, it's twofold. It's twofold. I was so excited to play this for the longest time. And it took me so much longer than intended. Actually, in quite a poignant way, considering Millie's route is so much about grief. Part of the reason it took me so long to get around to this was when I was originally planning on playing it, I was... Uh, grieving a close friend of mine at the time which was why I didn't feel up to like emotional games and things like that so the fact that I'm playing this now is it means a lot to me as well it's uh <laughs> it's so so powerful it's so good 
I love it. I, I, I love these games. I love this studio. I love these people. I love these developers. I love this team. I have so much love. Look, this is more of the... More of the love that's not romantic. Like, love comes in so many forms and I have so much of it right now. My, my heart is so full. <laughs> my heart is full of emotions and care. But also women. I do like women. <laughs> But yes, anyway, I've, I digress. I've, I've, I love how I said today I was, I was going to try my best to not go off track too much because I do want to finish Millie's route and then I just sit here and I've just been talking for like an hour and we've not really gotten anywhere. I, <laughs> it's okay. This is also part of the experience, I think. I think it's also an important part of the experience. And even if I don't finish this today, I'll finish it next Tuesday for Two Fall Tuesday and then probably get complete emotional whiplash as I jump into Caprice's route. Ha, ah, yeah, exactly. On the bright side, it would be another Millie stream next week. I think it would be either way though, because I want to, I want to explore all of the options for the members of the, the club as well, because I picked Darren this time, but there's also the option to pick Tanya and to pick Heather. So I want to know their stories as well so i won't be jumping straight to caprice from this i want to i want to see all of it i want to see all of the options like whenever whenever i play a visual novel i'm always like right 100 percent completing this i want every little side bit of dialogue thank you <laughs> but it's again it's like it's another reason why i love these games so much they they bring up such fun topics to talk about like it's so nice getting to talk to everyone here about what's going on too I'm, I'm i'm having to resist the urge to use chat as a like hey chat to talk to chat it, it, <laughs> i'm becoming that kind of streamer it's okay but yeah it's, it's just really nice to to have that conversation especially when they're harder conversation topics to bring up like just in small talk too like you're not just going to be casually chatting with someone and then just bring up oh yeah my friend died last year like it's like <laughs> that would... I mean you could I don't think it'd be a fun conversation for anyone but in an environment like this it makes it so so easy and I think that kind of thing is so important sometimes <laughs> chat am I cooked <laughs> oh. oh goodness anyway let us return but yeah, I, th it's the, I feel like Millie probably saw a bit of herself in Olive when she saw them, like, despairing over their grades. It's, ah. Uh... But I always had Caprice. Honestly, if you'd chosen the art club, you might have been in better hands. Uh... I never imagined you would struggle with that kind of thing. Yep, it's called masking, baby. <laughs> Millie has a great mask. It comes in waves. It was really hard in middle school, but I managed to find a way to power through. Even when I didn't want her to, Caprice had been pushing me forward, Aww. helping me study and still find the time and energy to pursue writing. <laughs> I really love the relationship between her and Caprice. I love them. Ah. <sighs> But then, the engagement happened. Exactly. I just... I felt like I had made a terrible mistake because I realized just how much I had relied on her. It's okay to rely on family. Is Caprice's nickname Bell? Because... <laughs> Caprice... <laughs> Wait, I, I, want, I want art of Caprice drinking a Capri Sun now. I love those. I used to have Capri Suns all the time as a child. And then, like, a couple years ago, I, I got some more again, and they, they did, like, a really nice tropical flavor, and I really loved the flavor of those. But yeah, this is... <laughs> I know, it's not the right emotional atmosphere for juice box jokes. <laughs> but also, I don't mind so much. I... It's okay to break the tension sometimes. Uh, oh, you prefer Ribena to Capri Suns. I, 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 it depends on the flavor. 
depends on the flavor. Ribena, yeah, Ribena used to taste nicer. I don't, I don't like recent Ribena. I just have like generic blackcurrant juice now. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I love her, I do. She's my sister, yeah. whether her parents got married or not. I wish she understood that, but she either can't or won't. No, I... That's... I think she does. I think she does. Oh! <laughs> oh, like in Bell Peppers! Oh, that's... I, I love I love how a typo turned into me talking about uh, juice box drinks. <laughs> oh, that's that's even more of a beautiful tangent. That's so. Uh... But oh, this is the part that pains me here because it's like I'm pretty sure Caprice does understand that, but also she just really wants to help. She wants to help so much. Also, lad, hello. It is. Thank you. I'm I'm definitely glad I ended the stream early yesterday because being able to rest definitely helped. I had lots of hot drinks with honey and instantly was feeling a lot, lot better. But I, th I think it is allergy related, sadly. So it's, it's the kind of thing where I just have to wait for things to get better and just keep looking after myself, which I'm doing. Which I have been doing. And I've been doing it today as well. I've got my hot drinks. I've been getting ready for the stream. But, uh, the yeah, aspect to this. But Olive, with you, I feel like we're in this together. <laughs> I helped you get through writing, sure, but that's all it was. All of your accomplishments are still your own. That counts for you too, Millie, please. Please listen to yourself. You say you're no good at anything, but... All your accomplishments are still your own. I felt like I owed every single one of my own dreams and successes to someone else. <laughs> do you... do you get what I mean? It's like, I, I, I do kind of get where she's coming from, but I, I don't see it as a really bad thing. Like, I... I think, like, so long as you're still, like, independent enough on your own, I don't think it's bad to rely on someone else if they are okay with being relied on. Like, if you're, like, relying on someone and they're, like, resenting it and they don't like it, that's when it becomes a problem. But it's not like that with Caprice. Caprice is happy to help. So at that point, you should feel happy to be helped. There's nothing wrong with that. It is okay to rely on other people. I'm saying this out loud and I'm... I feel like such a hypocrite because I am, I am the kind of person who doesn't rely on anyone else. I, I always do everything for myself, even when I should probably delegate. I'm... I'm calling myself out right now. Oh, goodness. Uh, <laughs> I think so. In a way, at least. I don't think... No. I know I couldn't have passed that semester without you there. Yeah. They relied on Millie, but that doesn't mean their accomplishments are any less. Because they were still the one who accomplished it. But I don't think that was a bad thing. You were there when I needed you. This, this, yes. That's what I'm saying. I felt relieved when you asked me to help you get some space once in a while. Yes. It was like, I could finally return the favor in some way. Oh, <laughs> oh my heart. Uh, can't help but think about Highway Blossoms when I say that. Oh, yes, I... I really, I really want to revisit Highway Blossoms. I, I love that game. It was like the first time I, I played like a Yuri game that felt like it had like a story and a plot and a meaning to it. Like the only things I can think of before them were like I would just play. It's like all those like terrible flash uh, dating sim games where it's just raise the stats, get the girl you win like <laughs> not really as a story and character development the plaza is quiet a dusting of snow is falling melting as soon as it reaches the ground i try to read her expression her eyes are warm but that lingering sadness i've come to know has returned 
I want to backpedal to tell her that she'll never need to worry about owing somebody, someone else anything. But it's not true. I owe so much of where I am to her, to my professors, to my mom. We're supposed to help each other. That's all I mean. Your confidence and energy, finding yourself, that makes me so happy. I just still want you to be able to turn to me because I love you. Oh, oh, I love this. I, uh, I love this so much. Oh, I love this game. And that's exactly what I've been saying. Uh, at least I didn't play the mobile dating sims where the good story decisions were paywalled. Yeah, I think that was like later on. Like, I... <laughs> I'm I'm talking like the the early days of gaming, before visual novels were like really well known in English. I'm 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 old. <laughs> I'm old. I hide it sometimes, but I'm. Every now and then I'll talk about my childhood and how excited I was when I got my first Nokia. Thirty three ten, was it thirty three ten? I think it was that. And then people are like, "Wait, you're older than I thought you were." <laughs> Good times. Uh, not easy to have as a partner, you know. I... I need time to work uh, things out, to, to think them through. I don't always know what I want. That's okay. I'll wait for you. <laughs> oh. Oh, I love them. I hope you believe me when I say I love you for who you are. I love you enough to trust you'll tell me when you're ready. Uh, oh, I love this. My heart skips in my chest at the thought. It's easy to say, but I understand what she's coming from. It's scary to allow yourself to be loved, especially when it requires effort and inconvenience. I also hate how relatable this is as well. But yeah, I had a brick phone. My first phone. Oh, this is, this is so relatable and... <laughs> but through Millie... I've come to understand that having someone you love burden you is a gift. I want her to rely on me. I want to rely on her to <laughs> give and take. Sharing, sharing everything going through, like... That's what makes things, like, so much more together. That's the togetherness. It's... You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. It's... We're in this together. I... <laughs> Oh. You're super worried about the confession being sprung when Millie was at her lowest and it coming off as anything less than sincere. So I wanted to go out of your way to reaffirm it later. I'm so glad. I'm really, really glad. Because it's like, I, that's, that was like my biggest worry at that moment too. I was like, the fact that she was saying that in that low moment, in a way it made it feel more real because this was like she's at her lowest she's just saying it she's saying her true thoughts but at the same time it's like is she gonna regret saying it afterwards when she's not really drunk and in despair so it's really nice it's it's really nice knowing afterwards just being like i could just imagine her being like i'm sorry about last night and olive's just no it's okay and i love you like the reassurance there it's <laughs> oh, I, oh. I is dating them. me what you want right now i try to ask this delicately to make sure we came together at a tumultuous time and i want her to know more than anything that it's okay if she feels otherwise god olive is so good i love them love them. <laughs> the, the... It is. Uh, I, I, love, I love everything. She responds softly, but the, ded the, the, <laughs> the, 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 the but the dedication in her words leaves no room for doubt. I love you, Olive. I, I want to think about everything we've spoken about, mm. but I... I at least want you to know I'm very happy spending our time together like this. I'm happy with you. Me too. Me too. I'm so happy. I'm happy with you too. Oh. 
Can I, um, hold your hand? They're gonna hold hands. She stops herself, glancing away. The giant holiday tree behind us illuminates her with a golden light. <gasps> Can I kiss you? Oh, I thought they were gonna say hand holding. Kissing's fine. That's okay. Okay, hold on. I'm I'm gonna have some more of my tea before this. I <laughs> hold on. Ugh. Ugh. Am I ready? Am I ready? Am I ready? I think I'm ready. <laughs> I love how flustered she gets. I love... Millie is so good at pretending, but as soon as she gets flustered, it all just vanishes. And she... I, I, I love her little, like, blushy expressions. <laughs> ah. Her unfinished question finds its way to... Find its... Uh, ha ha. Finds its way to me. She turns to me in surprise, then nods, colour reaching her face. Please do. <sighs> oh, this is, oh, this is beautiful. Oh. I feel her lace our hands together. There is hand holding! There's enhanced hand holding. I feel her lace our hands together, the hands we've been holding for each other all the time, all this time. I cup her face with my free hand and she leans in, our foggy breath mixing in the space between us. Oh. <sighs> A proper kiss. The idea rings in my head. My lips reach hers in a movement I've been thinking about ever since our encounter in the library. And with our connection, she squeezes my think. hand in hers. <laughs> we don't need thoughts here. We don't need thoughts. Oh, this is so beautiful. This is... Oh, this is gorgeous. Our first date comes to an end. Even if we don't have all the answers or know exactly what tomorrow will bring, I know we love each other. That's more than enough. Oh, my heart is so full. Oh, the next day. The next day. Oh, I wonder if there's a gallery for this. I would be very surprised if there wasn't. I would I don't I don't think there would not be a gallery. If that makes sense. Snow covers the ground, but the weather feels pleasant, relatively speaking. At the very least, it's warm enough to warrant an early morning drive, so I wasn't too surprised when Millie originally pitched the idea. My concerns rose slightly when she grabbed her mom's journal on the way out the door, and then again when it became obvious where we were going. Junebug comes to a stop off the side of the road, puttering as her engine comes to a rest. We're here. Are we at the train bridge? Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. We hold hands as we slowly make our way across the bridge, both as an act of intimacy as well as a means to share our warmth. In Millie's other hand is her journal, clutched tightly. Around the halfway point or so, she releases my hand and turns out to the horizon, leaning, leaning against the railing after gently brushing some snow off into the dancing lights on the water below. She does the same for a portion of railing beside her, and I take it as a silent invitation to join her. Ah, uh, so what's with the journal? The journal is... a gift from her mother who has passed away. So this is like, this is really, really important to her. This is, it's a, this is a very, <laughs> yeah, it's significant that she's bringing it out. I have ideas on where this could go. I am so curious to know.
She turns to me and smiles as I take my place beside her, but quickly turns her attention back to her book, tracing the star on the cover with her finger. Sorry for dragging you out here. I've been thinking. She takes a small breath to give herself the energy to finish her thought. Well, there's an entry in Mom's journal I'd freely like to share with you, and I wanted a clear head to do it. Oh, it's... Oh, I'm... Oh, I'm... She turns once more to me, asking for consent to continue with her eyes. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. More sure than I've been about a lot of things recently. <sighs> this is... Uh, this is like, this means so much, because this is like her main tie to her mother. This is the memories and stuff of her mother. That, like, this is like the, the physical form of that. Like, the memory... She continues to stare at me, and it's only after a few moments I realize she's waiting for a confirmation. I oblige with a small nod, and not long after she pushes herself up from the railing before opening her journal to the page she had bookmarked. Page 61. When it's time to let go. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Oh. I've left a lot of hopes and wishes for you in these pages, but this one is extra important. Oh. Oh, this is beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Hydrate before I continue. <laughs> hmm. I need the strength for this. I oh, look at that. Sometimes in your life, and sometimes soon, you'll realize that things that once made you happy simply don't anymore. When moments like this happen, I want you to know it's okay to let go. In fact, you should. The longer you hold on to a long-faded feeling of joy, the more you'll start to tie it to the bad feelings it's giving you. Hmm. So... Let it go. Let it stay a happy memory, locked in time. Revisit it whenever you want. Just remember that building new experiences on top isn't the same as burying it, okay? <laughs> huh. <sighs> this is something I've had to learn as well. This is <laughs> oh, I. Th <laughs> Sorry, this is this is <laughs> this is hitting me harder than I thought it would. <laughs> mm. oh, wow. <laughs> mm hmm. <sighs> oh, it's... Hey, it's so hard, but it's so beautifully done. It is. It's... It's... Oh, it's... That's the reason why it hits so hard, because it's, it's so perfect. Hmm... <laughs> ah. <laughs> Theo was in charge of most of the Millie final draft, but that's one scene you're taking full credit for. Thank you. Yes, you, you take that credit. You deserve that credit. Oh my god. Ah, uh, sorry. This this is... Ugh, that, that part definitely hit me harder than I expected. I... I guess it's... Grief is one of those things where, like... It never really like stops. You can you can think you're okay and you've gotten over something, and then something will happen and it reminds you of it all over again. And it it never really 
like it gets easier to manage but it's always still kind of there it's <laughs> it's it's always still kind of hard <sighs> I, I love this but it hurts <laughs> A content sigh leaves her lips as she finishes the final sentence. Her eyes never once leave the page, though. I wrote a response to her, here at the bottom. What you write? I could never move on from you. <laughs> oh. Did she... ever write back? I feel like she might have written that afterwards. She shakes her head, though the movement is so subtle it barely registers as such. I wrote it after she yeah, left I us. Thought so. I thought so. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> oh. oh, Millie. Every part of me feels compelled to do something. Grab her to her hand, pull her close. Anything to narrow the distance between us in this moment. Ah. Yeah, that's so true. It's so true that we never get over stuff. We just learn to live with it. It's so true. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. And it's... Yeah. Huh. Instead, nothing. I stay locked in place and she... hers. I've read every page of this front to back hundreds of times. I could recite every word of hers by heart. These past few days, though, I find myself revisiting this entry, time and time again. I've read every word, but registered almost none of it, really. She finally turns her gaze back to me, smiling sweetly. Where I expect to find sadness, I find none. Her face instead reflecting a kind of peace I don't think I've ever seen her show. I want to respond, but find myself just as paralyzed as I was before. Not entirely sure where she had intended to take this. The silence doesn't seem to phase her, gently closing her journal before digging into her coat pocket for her phone. She pulls it out and immediately starts tapping away with her one free hand. <laughs> Not long after, my phone starts buzzing in several small bursts. Millie looks at me expectantly, and I hesitantly check on my phone as well, a feeling of unease overtaking me as I wonder what I'm going to be met with. <gasps> Not enough! <sighs> Hello, everyone. I'm sorry for the lack of communication lately. I've got an announcement to make regarding the writing club. Our next meeting is scheduled for this coming Thursday, and it'll be our last. Thanks for your understanding. I hope to see everyone there to send the club off. Oh, oof. Ooh. Ooh. My heart, originally stuck in my throat, drops deep down into my stomach. The club, in my time knowing it at least, always been in a dire situation, but I wanted to believe we could make it work. She deserved that, at least. Millie, you don't have to... It's okay, Olive. Really. Uh, it's... It makes sense, but it's like, oh... She joins me back on the railing, completely unfazed by the bombshell she herself just dropped. The time between the last meeting and now has been the happiest I've felt in a while. And I've been thinking a lot about if it was worth trying to keep it going. I think it is. But I've decided... Oh. I think I'm ready to let go. Of this, at least. It's time. I mean, to be fair, she, she doesn't need the club to keep writing. She doesn't- she can still keep writing without the club. It's- I can- it's- it's like I know she was clinging to it because it's one of those- It's like that stability she longs for. It's like- she, The club exists, so she wanted to keep clinging to that as a thing that keeps existing, as a thing that's like 
that stability that keeps going that she can col hold on to, but it's... Uh, but yeah, it's like, if it's if it's causing more stress than enjoyment, is it really worth it? <laughs> uh. I grip at the railing, even as my fingers protest against the freezing steel. I really wanted it to work. Me too. At this, she takes a small step towards me, close enough to have our shoulders touch. I know. Thank you for believing till the very end. Oh. It means more than you know. She nudges my shoulder, prompting me to meet her eyes. I know this is the right thing to do, and I feel good about the decision right now. But I know the day of is going to be tough. Yeah, that's gonna be really tough. But we'll be there. I hope I can count on you then as much as I have been lately. Yes. Yes. For the first time all day, I know exactly what to say. And every day after. That's lovely. That is that is the most lovely response. I love that. She breathes a quiet laugh, nods her head, and leans in for a kiss in response. Uh, a few days later. Just a little longer. Sorry. It's fine. Don't worry. The last day of the writing club is upon us. Tanya popped in for a moment to apologize to Millie, but she didn't stick around. Even Darren didn't show. It's disappointing, but I think Millie and I understand he had his reasons. And so we sit on our desks, the last remnants of the club, staring at nothing in particular on the other side of the window. It's quiet. Quieter than the usual meeting. Millie's said little since we arrived to pack things away, but her face says more than any words could. This really hurts. This really hurts. I'd... <laughs> I, I expected them to at least come along for the last meeting. I, did, I didn't expect... I didn't expect this. Huh. <laughs> it's Twofold Thursday now. Oh, is it in your time zone? <laughs> is it Twofold Thursday now? That's great. It's, it's Women Wednesday in some time zones and Twofold Thursday in others. It works out. But oh, Mari, thank you for stopping in. Thank you for... Thank you for being here. I'm so glad we, we got to relay, but yes, please. Please rest up well. I know it's late for you. <laughs> oh, it's Thursday in game. Oh, I... I... <laughs> I wasn't even noticing. But it, it is technically Thursday in some places now. W women Wednesday and Twofold Thursday. It works out perfectly for everything. <laughs> Oh, thank you for the hydrate as well, wannabe weeb. I'm gonna have some more of my blackcurrant. It's so funny because I keep I keep taking a sip out of my tea flask and expecting it to be tea, and it's it's my blackcurrant and honey drink instead. <laughs> Which I think is nicer actually, but part of me wants to just keep making this instead of tea as my warm drink. But then we'd get through so much honey. I <laughs> It is very nice, though. Warm blackcurrant with honey is just... It's such a soothing drink. It's like my go-to drink whenever I have a sore throat. It's always like, right, blackcurrant with honey. <laughs> it's really nice. Ugh. I'm sorry I couldn't do more. Even if everything else falls down around you, I wanted you to have this more than anything. I tried, you know. At the end of the semester that it was passed off to yeah. me, almost every waking moment during the break was spent preparing. Yeah. I know. 
Then, the day after classes resumed, I returned to a club a quarter of its size. After a week, it was an eighth. After a month, it was just Heather and I. Oh. Tanya only signed on after I started panicking. Oh, uh, mm. yeah. I did kind of figure that was the reason why Tanya would be there. It didn't, it didn't seem like her kind of club. I'm glad she did, though. I did everything right. It never even occurred to me that it was just a giant hangout for a bunch of pre-existing mm. friends. That the actual love of the craft wasn't a factor in the slightest. These one-word responses are awful, and I know it, so why is it so hard to say anything else? I reach over to grab her hand. Our arms hang over a gap between two desks, her fingers grasping mine in an unbreakable grip. We're having so much hand-holding today. We sit like this for a while. Whether it's minutes or hours, I'd struggle to say. The only break in silence is the occasional sniffle which she valiantly tries to hide, as futile of an exercise as that may be. Eventually, there are three gentle knocks on the door. I turn my head on instinct, but Millie's head doesn't move so much as an inch, eyes trained firmly outside. <sighs> it's open! <gasps> Dar <laughs> Come on in! <laughs> Come on in! Hello, Jack! Oh, I'm so glad he's here. I'm so glad. Darren. Darren, I never doubted you for a second. I love Darren. I love Darren. I love him so much. He's so good. He's so good. With the confirmation received, the handle turns and the old door slowly creaks open. Thank goodness. I was worried to death I'd miss you. Oh, He's so great. I'm so glad. <laughs> Thank you for choosing the correct option. This one was also a... Um, I also did a poll on stream for this one to decide who to befriend first. But I, I actually voted in my own poll for Darren there. <laughs> I, wanted to, I wanted to do Darren's path first. Like, I want to know everybody's deal. But Darren... I, I wanted to be friends with Darren. Like, as, as soon as I got to know him, I was like, I, I just want to be your friend. I want to be friends with this guy. I, I, <laughs> he's so good. That's finally enough to pull Millie's attention away from the window and back to the inside of the room. No farewell party, I'm afraid. It's nice to see you, though. Hmm. Ah, uh, well, actually, I shouldn't get ahead of myself. Here. Oh. Ah. Uh, Heather wants super cool too. Oh, please please don't uh say anything about the other paths because I I do plan on doing them. I'm I'm going to go through and skip the text and do all all three because I'm presuming there's going to be three for caprices as well because there was three here. And there's Alice and Eileen and Wallace. So I am going to be going through all of those as well. So please don't don't, like, allude to anything that happens with those, because uh, I want to experience it. But I'm, I'm excited to see what everyone's deal is. I am the most curious about Heather. I, I want to know her deal. I want to know her deal. <laughs> yeah, I'm manipulating polls. Yeah, that, that's the only one I voted in, though. Like, I could have voted to break the tie in the tied poll, but I thought it was more funny that everyone managed to make the pole tie so I didn't break the tie <laughs> even though I could have but I think it worked out well I think starting with Millie's route and Darren has worked so well like this is I'm happy <laughs> what's this Ooh, he makes his way inside offering Millie a thick stack of papers Holes punched through the sides, bound together by twine. <gasps> Did he? Oh. The entire first draft, as promised. He finished it. Oh, he, he finished the first draft. Oh, I'm, I'm so proud. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm. Ha. Oh. Millie loosens her grip from my hand, using her newfound freedom to flip through the pages. 
letter in this has to be at least an extra hundred pages more than what you showed me last time. He was trying to finish it before the club ended, wasn't he? Sorry if it comes off as rushed. Yeah. I had a sudden deadline I needed to hit. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, bless him. Bless his entire soul. This, this guy has the purest soul I've ever seen. I'm... I'm so glad. I love Darren. I want to join the Darren fan club, please. I, I know everyone else is already part of the Darren fan club. I also want to join, please. Do we get membership cards? I want Darren fan club membership cards, please. <laughs> I really appreciate it. If you don't mind, I'd like to give it the time it deserves and read it at a proper pace. Yes. Oh, yeah. Take your time. She finishes her skim, closing the makeshift book in her hands as she looks back up to him. Is there anywhere I can reach you to leave my feedback once I get through it? Yeah, actually. Um, there's another paper underneath the stack. Yeah? Millie tilts her head, looking puzzled as she slides the stray piece of paper up to the top. It doesn't take long for Millie to recognize it, eyes widening after only a couple moments. Darren, what? I'm not going to ask you to change your mind. I definitely think you've earned a break from all of this. At the same time, I was thinking, you know, it sucks. You having to be the one to shutter the club after it had been going on for years. What has he done? What have you done, Darren? <sighs> My curiosity gets the better of me. I lean over to Millie to get a glimpse of the paper that's causing so much fuss. I don't think the club's ending. Yeah, that... That's what I was hoping for. That's what I was hoping for. A transfer of leadership request. It looks official too, with fine print and the school's logo. What on earth is this guy thinking? So, you wanna close it yourself, or...? No. I'd actually like to keep it going. Yes! If I can. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Darren. That means starting from scratch. You'll have to advertise, sign up for the club fair, have to actually manage a group of people if it gets off the ground. Yeah, that sounds terrifying. And remembering the guy we met who was too shy to even enter the room at the start? This is a big step. This is, this is such a huge gesture. Like, I'm... I'm genuinely just chuffed to bits right now. I'm, I'm just so proud of Darren. I'm... I, I, I love him. I love seeing how much he's grown. I love seeing his confidence grow. How he's, like, he's become more sure of himself. Like, as time goes on, I, I think, I think he can do this. I, I think he'll be fine with this. I'm, I really believe it. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Leave it there before I start second guessing this, please. I want to laugh, but instead I'm left speechless. This is so far outside of Darren's comfort zone, he may as well be in another galaxy entirely. Can I ask why you came to this decision? Or even how? Hmm. Well, I was talking to a, a friend about this. Hmm. Right. And they said that a club is nothing more than a group of people who share a common interest and like being around each other. Uh, uh. I love this. Oh, Darren's your favorite path between the art and writing sides. I can see why. I can I can see why. I'm This guy's so good. He's so good. I can only hope my smile isn't too obvious. I'm not sure I'm the right one for this necessarily, but if the club is down to just me after you two move on, that sounds like as good a time as any to start again with that philosophy in mind. <laughs> Starting over can be easier than trying to salvage what you have sometimes, I think. Wow, that 
That's a powerful line. That is so, so powerful. And so true. That's... Oh, goodness. Uh, starting over can be easier than trying to salvage what you have. Yeah, sometimes it... It's so easy to, like, cling to what you do have. It genuinely is easier sometimes to just start over, to stop trying to make the scraps work somehow. Sometimes you really do need to just start again. Ooh. A deep breath followed by a smile. A rarity from Millie these days. Sounds like your friend knows her stuff. Only time will tell, but no harm in trying to put her advice to practice, given the circumstances. Nothing wrong with a club, just beat a bunch of friends and hang out together, right? <sighs> oh, this makes me really want to know so much more about the others now. I'm just like, I really, I really want to know everyone's stories now. I want to see this from Heather's side. I want to see this from Tanya's side. I'm, I love this. I love this game. I love this game. I love this game. Wait, there. Their advice. Darren, you didn't have to correct that. That was one situation <laughs> where you didn't have to correct that. The, the, not not to give it away or anything. I could just imagine him also now realizing what he's done and just being like, there because it could be anyone because it's it could be anybody. Could be, and anyone at all it could be a guy. <laughs> of course. I love this. I love it. You're free to come back whenever, obviously. And it's your decision in the end. I filled everything else out already, but I need your signature. Oh, I, I love this. <sighs> Millie looks down at the form again before giving a scan of the room. Her head swivels slowly, trying to commit every last detail of her club room to memory. I'll need a pen. Uh, uh. It's my turn to chip in. I reach down and pull up my backpack from the floor, rummaging through it until I manage to pull out a pen for her. She takes it as soon as I offer it up, signing her name with a dramatic swoosh. <laughs> An olive pen. <laughs> How dare you. How dare you, I love it. She takes one more look at the document, freshly signed. Reaching at her own bag, she pulls Darren's writing away and pulls out a keyring to replace it. You'll need these two then. The keys. Oh, goodness, sorry, my... My, my alarm started going off. <laughs> I forgot I have an alarm set for this time. Ah. The club room keys. Her voice finally begins to shake. Against all odds, the club lives to see another day. It'll just be him for now, but it's hard for me to not root for him. <laughs> keys? Keys? Did someone say keys? Hold on. Um, there's- I have- I have a key. I have a key. <laughs> I mean, I could just start the giveaway now. Shall I do that now? I'm gonna start the giveaway now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a giveaway. I'm gonna set the time for 25 minutes so that it'll be like five to five to the hour when the giveaway winner is announced. And so anyone can just enter. What should I make the command for this? I kind of want to do like a funny command. Yeah, let's give away the writing club's key. <laughs> I'm going to be a little bit silly now. I'm going to be a little bit silly. Hey. Hey, did someone say keys? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> hey everyone! Who wants a key? Who wants a who wants a twofold key? Just type exclamation point clubroom keys in the chat and you will enter the giveaway for a twofold key. <laughs> I was trying to think of what it could be, and I was just like, this, this is really silly, but I'm going to do it. Because I can. I was I was given this power, therefore I'm, I'm using it for... Is it evil? No, I think this is good, actually. I'm using it for good. <laughs> but yes, that, that giveaway will go on now until the end of the stream. So, at the end of the stream, a winner will be chosen. Please be around, I will send your key in a uh, Twitch whisper. But yes, that will be... The, the winner for that will be picked in like 24 minutes right before I end the stream and send it on to Nui. So yes, any time from now, anyone who joins in, the, the bot will periodically mention the giveaway. But yes, anyone can enter. Enter with exclamation point uh, clubroom keys and you can win a keeper twofold. Right, back to the game. <laughs> Her voice finally begins to shake. Against all odds, the club lives to see another day. It'll just be him for now, but it's hard for me to not root for him. I'm rooting for him too. I'm rooting for you, Darren. He takes the keys and document without a word. His faint smile grows ever so slightly as he goes over the sheet one more time, ensuring all the T's are crossed and I's are dotted. That club's got a long history. Or so I'm told. We've got some big shoes to fill. I think he can. I, I believe in him. I know. All I can do is try my best. It couldn't be in better hands. Oh, a lot to live up to. Find a true friend in Darren. I got I got Darren achievement. I'm I that that's like the, the truest meaning of the word achievement. I feel like I've achieved so much right now. I I feel achieved. I have achieved everything I wanted. <laughs> Couldn't be in better hands. Continuing his check, he's left completely unaware as Millie pulls him into a hug, the tears starting in earnest. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck. <sighs> oh, it's, it's so bittersweet. A couple days later. Days like this have started to feel normal, almost mundane. With club meetings no longer taking up our evenings, Millie sits on the couch and chips away at a novel she picked up from the library, while I prepare our dinner after a typical day of classes. Tortilla soup for dinner tonight. How much chili powder am I adding? Yes. None whatsoever, thanks. <laughs> That's me. No, actually, I I would I think I've gotten to the point with spice tolerance now where I, like I I have meals with chili powder added to them now. I'm I used to be the biggest baby for spice. I could not have any form of spice, but now I I've I've kind of slowly built up my spice tolerance. I've bu built my way up to regular chili powder and not mild chili powder now. So I'm proud of myself. <laughs> but it's like I really like spice. I just can't handle it very well. <laughs> uh, it's hard not to laugh at her flat dismissal from across the room, not even missing a beat. I sprinkle in the bare minimum I can to prevent it from tasting entirely flat. I can only hope she'll forgive me later. Look, if it's cooked well, I don't think she'll even notice. As I stir away, the quiet both of us have been enjoying is interrupted by my phone ringing on the counter. I scoop it up with my free hand, eyeing the sender's name with some amount of surprise. It's Haley. Oh. That's enough to get Millie's attention in earnest, closing her book and making her way to my side, intent on listening in. Once she's situated to her liking, I press the button and let the call through. Haley, been a minute. Oh, what's up? Hey, sorry if this is sudden. Mm. I've been trying not to pry. Yeah, that's fair. 
Her pace is noticeably faster than her typical lethargic delivery. Oh, monotone squad, here we go! <laughs> I haven't seen much of Millie since the holidays, and neither of them have talked to me about it. Uh. I know it's not technically my business, but I can't stand being in the dark about this any longer. Yeah, Millie, you... you... You're still friends with Haley, right? It, it it feels bad to just like ignore her. <laughs> I glance at my girlfriend. The guilt on her face makes it obvious enough that she caught that. She's fine if that's what you wanted to know. It's not really my place to talk about their home life that they haven't, though. Mm. <sighs> I understand. She's given up on trying to keep her tone subtle, the mounting frustration becoming all too obvious. Have you tried talking to Millie about this at all? I can make out an unamused snort on the other end. As if she's actually spoken to me in forever. Oof. Oof. There's a silence over the phone that's impossible for me to fully read. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be talking about her like that. Least of all to you. Forget I even called. Uh, I, I can see where she's coming from though, like... Millie, please talk to Haley, please. Oh, thank you for the hydrate too. I'm gonna have some more of my blackcurrant. I nearly said tea again. I keep expecting to have tea because it's my tea flask. It's my blackcurrant and honey. And it's so nice. Uh, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> the beep of the call ending interrupts me before I get the chance to finish. I bring the phone down from my ear and briefly inspect the screen to make sure I didn't accidentally hang up on her somehow. Nope. Just her. A small, unexpected laugh from Millie pulls my eyes upward again. Uh... She shakes her head and waves. The smile on her face doesn't reach her eyes, but it isn't entirely sad either. A silent display of acceptance and remorse all at once. I was just realizing how right she was. I've been giving both of them the cold shoulder for too long. Oh, yes, please. Conflict resolution, please. It's what I'm here for. Also, I keep smiling every time I see the giveaway command. <laughs> She takes a step closer and stirs the soup I had been preparing for us, making me just realize I had been leaving it unattended during the call. Are you okay with taking a drive tonight? <sighs> Millie shuffles into her former apartment with me, with me following as close as I can, shutting the door behind us as we make our way inside from the cold. Haley's loitering around in the living area, not doing anything in particular outside of waiting for us to arrive, it seems. Millie called her back not long after our earlier conversation, finally ready to talk things out. Oh. Thank goodness, honestly. As part of Millie's impromptu peace talks, I have a couple Tupperware containers worth of soup for Haley and Caprice. <laughs> it's been like, hey, I, I, bring, I bring a peace offering of food. Haley's portion has her name written on the side. I added a little extra kick to it based on what I know of her preferences. Haley gives me a curious look as I carefully set them down on the counter. Thought you might appreciate an actual dinner. Uh, no chance they're already frozen over, but a couple minutes in the microwave won't hurt. Thanks. It's the least we can do after all the stress I've been causing you lately. Oh, Millie. Millie takes a breath before continuing. Is Caprice going to be okay with leaving her room? I'd like to talk oh. to both of you, if possible. Oh. Millie waits for a response, but only silence follows. After sitting in the awkward silence for a second too long, Millie leans to look past her friend down into the hall. Um, well, I'll go ask her directly then. Millie speaks, uh, Millie speaks in a hushed tone, 
hushed tone, not wanting the subject of her discussion to be bothered. It's loud enough for Haley to hear, though, and her eyes immediately snap back to Millie. Caprice isn't here. Huh? Millie's eyes couldn't widen any more than they widen now. The various little things she wanted to discuss leave her mind, replaced only by a single question. What do you mean she's not here? I mean she's not here. I don't know what part of that is open to interpretation. Where is she? Millie's inner peace that she spent the last couple weeks nursing and restoring shatters in an instant, eyes darting back and forth while she tries to formulate her words. Wh I mean, where is she? Do you know? Why didn't you say anything? Haley's eyes narrow and her features tug downwards. I reach for Millie's hand in instinct to both try and calm her down as well as just remind her I'm still there. Her mom's place. I thought the total lack of communication is why you came here. When have you given me a chance to tell you anything? Oh. Kinda true, but painful. Charlie's good. The back half of Haley's statement didn't even make it to Millie's train of thought. Likely for the best. Sorry to drag you around town, Olive, but we're going to pay her a visit. Haley, would you come with? We'll talk more late. You kind of owe Haley an explanation here first, Millie. Please. Wait, wait. Slow down a sec. Take a breath. Trying to corner her without warning won't do anyone any good right now. This feels- I, I feel really bad for Haley here. I feel so bad for Haley here. Haley has been stuck in the middle of all of this. She has been trying her best. And now she probably thought we were finally going to figure something out. And she they're basically just forgetting she's even there. That that feels... I feel really bad for Haley here. I'm like... Like, I understand why they're so focused on Caprice. But Haley has been hurt pretty badly here as well. You know? She practically jumps out of her skin as I interrupt her stream of thoughts. She pauses and forces herself to inhale, trying her best to collect herself again. After an exhale, instead of addressing either of us, she instead reaches into her coat for her phone. She dials someone up and puts it on speaker as it rings, pacing back and forth as Haley and I watch on. Really? Wallace? Wallace, uh, hi. I wanted to ask about Caprice, if you don't mind. Uh, I've actually been meaning to ask you about her myself. Now's as good a time as any to trade notes. <laughs> ask me about what? Oh, uh, well, just wondering how things have been. None of us have seen her for a while. Oh, boy. Oh boy, this is... Oof. How long is a while? We had a meeting right before the semester started up again, but she got up and left abruptly. That's the last we've heard from her. Ouch. This feels bad. Before the semester started? So... A matter of weeks? Yeah. Hasn't called any meetings. Hell, hasn't even responded when we got together and invite her ourselves. Eileen, of all people, is getting worried at this point. That is really very not Caprice. That is extremely unlike Caprice. This is really worrying. Millie's pacing stops, her back turned to us. I see. You know if she's okay? figure you'd know better than any of us. Ooh. Uh, more pain. I really wish that were true. Uh, she's safe, at least. I'll let you know once I hear anything past that. <sighs> yeah, if Eileen is worried, you know the situation's bad. Yeah, like, if, if Eileen is outwardly worried, you know it's bad. Okay. Make sure you look after yourself, too. Later, Mills. Oh... Oh boy. 
Oh, at first I was I was a little confused as to why she'd be calling Wallace, and then I suddenly remembered that Wallace was literally in the writing club before he went and joined the art club, so it, it makes sense that... Like, they all know each other well. We know from, like, the... <laughs> the first snow party but i oh this i i i feel i feel a bit guilty myself too i feel really guilty myself cuz i didn't consider caprice in this i was i was very on the millie side of everything i just kind of presumed that caprice would be okay because she's always so bubbly and light but like of course she's not okay after all of this like how could she be okay after all of this? This is like the worst. This is awful. Oh, I feel so bad too now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, oh. Oh, one of your favorite parts about the dual perspective roots is seeing the other character sink deep and having to think about that coming up and reading the second path. Yeah, that's gonna... It's gonna make things so interesting. Like, going through Caprice's path, knowing how Millie's doing the whole time is gonna be very interesting and like just it's it's just oh it's oh i'm i'm so worried <laughs> huh. with a blip wallace is gone millie stands in place long after he hangs up not even finding the willpower to turn around yeah yeah, it's I, I I played first snow before I played this, so I already had an idea on the art club and the members of the art club. And I think that's also a little part of why I just kind of presumed that Caprice would be okay, because I already know so much about Caprice. I already I've already gone to know her through First Snow and also the other art club members through that too. So a little part of me, I think I kind of just like took it for granted that everyone would be fine over there. But it's like it, how can you be fine in a situation like this? How can you? It's war. Ah, uh, you did Caprice's route first. Watching my playthrough has been so enlightening. It's, it is so fascinating. It's like, it's the same thing I had with uh, Please Be Happy. When I played Please Be Happy, uh, the order I played it in, I watched somebody play in the opposite order. And it makes the story feel a little different, depending on, like, which one you do first. It's really, really interesting. Very, very fun. But, oh, thank you for the hydrate. Thank you. <laughs> it's one thing I really love about things with multiple paths and multiple perspectives in the same time period. I think it, it's so interesting. Ah. Uh. With a blip, Wallace is gone. Millie stands in place long after he hangs up, not even finding the willpower to turn around. Has she been gone all this time? I think she might have been. Yeah, that more or less matches up with when she left. Ooh. Mill <laughs> Millie finally turns around, dragging her feet back over to us before eventually burying her face in her hands and speaking through them. I'm so, so sorry. I never meant to leave you alone all this time. No. I, I didn't realize... I didn't even give you a chance to tell me what with my behavior. I, I didn't even text. I, I'm so sorry. Hey, come on. This isn't about me. No, it is. It, it kind of is. Millie looks up from her hands, the stress on her face plain. It's about you as much as anyone else. Both of us have put so much on you, and I was just off living blissful ignorance while you two were suffering alone. Thank you. Thank you for saying this, Millie. I was hoping she would. I was really hoping she would. I'm so glad she is. I can't say enough, Haley. God, Caprice. Uh... Haley sighs. Something about how simple it is seems to register in Millie's head as a way to say, okay, slow down. Most things about Haley do, really. <sighs> You're here now, right? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I love, oh, I love this. Oh, I love this. I love this. I love this. This art, this art right here. This, this is what I'm, th 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 <laughs> this. This. 
this is what I'm here for. This, I'm... <laughs> I love this. I love this. I love this. Haley, smile. Haley, smile. Uh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. <sighs> oh, Haley, smile. I'm so glad. It exists specifically because she's not in any other CG. Well, I'm so glad it exists. I'm it it, it should it should exist. It it should have existed. I'm glad it exists. You it was a good decision. A very good decision. Also, last five minutes of the giveaway. If you want to try and get a twofold key, type exclamation point club room keys. <laughs> Hand in keys for a key. <laughs> but thank you. I'm I love this. I love this. She takes a step forward and embraces her friend as Millie's tears start in earnest. I gently take a step closer, rubbing her back alongside Haley's hug. You needed some time to get to this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The three of us stay there until Millie's cries turn to sniffles, then eventually back to a calm silence. I'll do my best to fix things the right way. Yes. I, I believe in her. She can. That's all I ever wanted from you two. Oh, I'm, I'm so glad. Haley smiles, totally unrestrained, no longer trying to hide her emotions as it grows ever, ever wider across her face. Remember that Caprice deserves a hug like this too. Yes. I will. Of course I will. Yes. She does. She definitely does. What's the time? What's the time? We're stopping here. We're stopping here. This is the stopping point. I'm going to save right here. We're saving. And this is going to be where I start up next Twofold Tuesday to finish Millie's route. <sighs> what an incredible journey, though. So I'm, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Next week, Twofold Tuesday. Twofold Tuesdays are continuing until I have fully 100% completed Twofold. So if you've liked this, if you've joined from this, if you've liked it, uh, I usually stream on Tuesdays between uh, 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. BST, which is a little earlier than this started for the relay. But yeah, that's a good spot now for me to very quickly... Oop. Let's head over here, and the giveaway will be commencing in two minutes. So that is the perfect time for me to to wind down the stream to get everything finished. And get ready to raid into the next Bellflower, which is going to be Nue. Nue is so lovely, I love them. They play a lot of visual novels, they play more than I do. And... They are really, really lovely, and also pink. We're going from one pink streamer to another. But yeah, I really, I really like Nui a lot. Oh, wait, no, stop it. I didn't think you were here. I didn't think you were here. I was, I was complimenting you, like, no, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Now I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> love you. Oh, uh, and that Nui's great. And they're going to be the next Bellflower in the relay. I've, I've been, I can't believe I've been caught like this. <laughs> the power of pink. We're going from pink to pink. But yes, we've got a minute left on the giveaway. If anyone wants to get a, a sneaky last minute entry in there for the, the twofold steam key, it is exclamation point clubroom keys. And then a winner will be chosen for that. And I will give you your key when you win. Oh my goodness, what a, what a, I didn't expect this to get so emotional though. This was such an emotional stream, like the, the grief moments going on. That was so much, it was such an experience. Oh, how do we set the pronouns on overlay? Oh, it is this way. Bum bum bum. If you want to set your pronouns in chat, there's a, there's a little plugin thing where you can set your pronouns so they show up is very nice oh we got another last minute entry let's see who wins let's see who's gonna win the key who handed in the keys to get the key we got 10 seconds 
five, four, three, two, one. Who's winning? It's Tracy. Tracy, Malin, Mylin, I'm so sorry if I mispronounce your name, but you won. You won the twofold key. Congratulations. Congratulations. Let me send your key over to you right now. Thank you so much for joining and for being here. Yes! It's oh been so God! much fun. This has been such a lovely, lovely stream. I'm so glad. Like, I always, I always have so much fun playing games like this anyway. I have such a great time with visual novels because I, I love to spend forever on them and then talk about everything that's happening while it goes on. So it's a lot of fun. It's so much fun. But yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. I hope you've all enjoyed it as much as I have. It's been a lot of fun. And congratulations to the winners of the keys as well. To uh, Rose of the Abyss for winning the Please Be Happy key and for Tracy now for winning the, the twofold key. Truly winning. It always feels so good to win a giveaway. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much, everybody. Let me make sure I've got everything set up to send you over to Nui as soon as they start. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, I think they've got the starting screen up. Yeah, they do. They do. Are we ready? Are we ready? I might s send the raid over a tiny bit early. But yes, thank you so much everyone for being here as well. As a little reminder too, with the Studio Elan store, I am part of the Bellflowers. I'm one of the ambassadors. And all five of us are streaming today. We started with Mari and we're going into Nui now. But uh, if you use the code Liri on the Studio Elan web store, you can get 10% off your orders. And there's a lot of cool stuff in there. So I, I highly recommend it. But yes, this has been such a blast. I've had so much fun with this. I'm, I'm so glad. But yes, I should probably rest my voice a little bit more. I'm, I'm definitely not feeling as bad as I did yesterday, but I, I can tell my voice isn't right. So I'm gonna go not talk for the rest of the day. <laughs> but let's get this raid going. Let's get this raid going. We're gonna head over to Nui, who's gonna be playing without a voice, which is, an incredible game, a fairly dark game. Much, much darker than Twofold and Please Be Happy. <laughs> but also the art for Without a Voice is by my, my model artist, Addy Rosa too, so I have a, a personal, personal tie to this game as well, so I'm very excited for it. But yes, <laughs> I was playing Without a Voice yesterday. Oh, that was terrible, thank you, yes. It's true. <laughs> but yes, time for me to go rest my voice. I'm gonna send you over to be in the very capable hands of Nui. Please send them all of the love. That is it for now. Thank you all for being here. And until next time, bye-bye. It did not move. Bye-bye, hold on, let me try again. Bye-bye.